Welcome back to New York City, everybody. I'm Coach Todd. I have allergies. That's Coach Cole. Brooklyn's hanging out here on the side. We are here for boot camp workout number 12. So this is the last workout of the boot camp series. If you've been doing all of it up until now, congratulations, you've gotten 11 workouts in. Today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be retesting the conditioning part that we did in boot camp workout number one. So if this happens to be the first workout that you're watching, there's a whole series of these, there's 11 other ones. So um, you might wanna go back to the beginning, start at the beginning and work your way through. Either way, we're gonna get going in a minute. Like all of our other workouts, you either need one weight, a dumbbell, which Coach Cole is going to be using, or a kettlebell, which I'm going to be using. And we're going to start with our strength portion, and then we're going to transition into that conditioning portion, uh, which again is going to be a retest of the workout that we did in workout number one. So that may have been a while ago for you. If that was a while ago, we encourage you to put your score in the comments. So you should be able to go back to the comments, read what you did, and then your goal is to beat that score in this workout. All right? With all that being said, Coach School's gonna get started with the warm up. Alrighty, my hips are nice and tight today, so we're gonna start off with some Russian baby makers again. So we're gonna grab onto the toes. Is that a real name? Russian baby makers. Russian baby makers? Yes, that's what they're called. Um, I'm do, not, do, do I wanna ask why? I'm not sure it's very PC. Okay, okay. Right. But grab onto your hands, squat all the way down your hands. Grab onto your toes, squat all the way down, and then lift your butt up to the sky. And go up and down 10 times. So we're back in Brooklyn. We're at Willie B Fitness here in Greenpoint, which is where we one of the locations where we have our Saturday workouts. Beautiful day in New York City today. Oh, it's gorgeous. We've had some real hot ones that we've talked about, but it's like hot and rainy. rainy. Hot, rainy, yeah. Not today. Beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. I'll do one more. Once you finish your last one, let's come on to our hands and knees. What? That's what they're called. I am going to have to Google why. They are called that. Uh, let's put our elbows behind. Our elbows on the floor, hands behind our head. We're going to do some T spine openers. So just open your right elbow up to the ceiling. Come right back down. Open your left elbow up to the ceiling. Come back down. We're going to go five times on each side. So left and right, 10 times total. Once we do that, since we're on the floor, we're gonna stay on the floor for a minute. Let's do 15 sit-ups, cool? We're gonna use our core a little bit today. We're gonna spend a lot of time standing up, swinging around the kettlebell, so a stable core is really important. Left foot to toes, left foot to ground behind the head, sit on up, sit back down. Count to 15. When you're doing these and you're doing your sit-ups, try to think about leading with your chest. As you're sitting up, leading with your chest to help keep that back more in a neutral position. Then rounding, you can just try to reach forward and having that excessively rounded back. So every time that you sit up, good thing chest first. <clears throat> Five more. We gotta get up to the feet sometime, so let's get up onto the feet. After your 15. Let's get 20 butt kicks going, get yourself in the butt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, Is that from Brooklyn? Yes. Oh, I knew it's not really today. Oh, I knew it. I knew about it. First time I saw it. We'll get 20 jumping jacks. I don't know if I count anymore, but they're so small now. And we'll turn it down a little bit. Let's just get 10 air squats. Feet where you like to squat. All the way down, all the way back up. Legs are sore today. From what? Squats. Lots and lots of squats. But, squats are king. Queen. Tops. Huh? Squats are tops. Work I don't know if that's called cool. <laughs> uh, squats Unfair are here to bottoms. Hey man, like, wow, it's hard to find them. Let's move on. Gonna <laughs> breeze past that. Um, all right. Do you want to talk about the workout today? Would you like to? Sure. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah. we just strength. Um, we're gonna do six rounds of our strength work today. Cool. This is going to be similar to some past strength work we've done, where we technically aren't gonna put down that dumbbell or kettlebell for the full time. All right, 
why not end it? End the series with our last number 12. Again, if you ever need to set down your kettlebell, though, today is not necessarily one of our don't put it down in reps. So if you have to put it down for five seconds, find a couple breaths here and there, all right? We're gonna do 40 seconds of a left arm clean and press to begin. So, Pilot's gonna grab his kettlebell or dumbbell. Kettlebell's gonna be a bit more technical. He's gonna clean it up to his shoulder. And are you on push press or push press? Push press. Push press. Well, now he's gonna keep his chest nice and tall, dipping and driving in the knees. That was one clean and one press. He's gonna go right back down. Another clean, another dip, and another drive. Cool? That is what we're doing for 40 seconds. The next 40 seconds, you guessed it, we're gonna use the other arm, aka the right arm, for some clean and presses. And then for the third 40 second window, we're going to do some alternating single arm swings. So I want you to hinge at the hips, swing right up to our shoulder level here, switch hands in the air, and then come right back down. All right? That is one round. 40 second clean and press, 40 second clean and press, 40 second single arm swings. Make a song. Six rounds of them. All right, again. Just make it spicy. Just, just make it a little spicy. Just today. doing that now, I realize. Make it spicy. Uh huh. A lot of swinging. So you need to. Take a break here and there. Do so. We have not written in a written written. Written. We have not written in any breaks today. There are no timed breaks for any of us. Cool. In the first part. In the first part. There are in the second part. Don't worry about it. Cool. We're gonna go in 30 seconds. Grab a bell or a dumbbell or some water or a small dog. Small dog? That's not you. You're not small. Alright. What did she weigh? 60? Um, 70? 70-ish. She weighed 80, but she lost a lot of weight. We're having a little dispute about eating. Uh, she got really picky, and so we're seeing who wins this. We're going in 10 seconds. We're just on our left arm, sure. and we're some clean and press. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. So every time, cleaning, if you're using a, a kettlebell, you want to be able to get that thumb to make contact with the shoulder and then that push press. We talked about this in prior videos. Hopefully it's a little easier today. I want you to try to be thinking about when you're going overhead, particularly when you're overhead, keeping that thumb facing behind you, that elbow facing forward. This is true for a kettlebell or for that dumbbell. 10 seconds to go. Five. Then, sorry. Nope, good. Four. Three. Two. One. Switch arms for me. Same exact movement. Like we said, this is a uh, six round, 12 minutes of moving this dumbbell. Uh, I'm not asking you to count full. Our score part of the workout today is our second half of the workout. So I don't really care how fast we go. I would prefer you finding a good breath, getting a good re rhythm going with that dumbbell, rather than just seeing how many clean and presses you can do in a minute. Keep it steady. We are the tortoise, not the hare. 10 seconds. Right now, at least. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Single arm swing. Swing, switch. Swing, switch. Good. 30 seconds to go. Twenty more seconds. Then we're going back to that left hand side. Ten seconds. Treat this as a nice little dumbbell warm up. Four, three, two. Left arm. Take a couple breaths. A great place to breathe in this workout. If you're not prepared to put that dumbbell down quite yet, is right overhead. Cool. I know we probably if you've been taking these videos, you've heard that from Todd and I a million times, you'll probably hear it a million one again. It's just a better setup. Pull your T-spine is much more attracted, gives you much more room for air here in the stomach than here. Run that upper back rounds a little bit and we're pulled over. We also just have weight in our, our, our neck and we need to breathe through there. 10 seconds to go. All right, five, three, two, one, switch. Getting some swinging rhythm today. <clears throat> so we're, you know, in our second round, halfway through our second round. I know when I started to work out, 
I don't have like pre-workout jitters, but I kind of just have a lot of like pent up energy. The pre-workout peas, you forget those. I have a lot of members who get those. You don't have to go to the bathroom until 10 seconds before the workout starts. And then you just have to pee. You have to. Everything else stops. Four, three, two, one. Single arm swings. So after the first round or two, I usually get to you know settle in. I know how I'm going to feel for most of the workout. It can find a little better pace. So once we get through these swings, this should be continuous if able to. But like Coach Cole was saying, we can build a lot of rest into the clean and presses. So I know I'm going to be focusing on that next round. This next round will get us to the halfway point. Three, two, one. Left arm. Would you say your favorite part of a workout is beginning, middle, or end? <sighs> um, favorite part of the workout has to be the end. Yeah. What about you? I think mine's the middle. The middle. How so? Because that's where most of the workout is like won or lost. Like, I, from a personal standpoint, not necessarily like competition standpoint. Like the middle matters, and that's like where you have to like fight, stay composed, and like keep stick to stick to your gun and strategize. Like when you're on your last round of the workout, it's kind of easier. So the last round, you just get to go four, three, two, one. I also think the end of the workout hurts more than the middle. Especially if you just like turn it on and go for it to finish it out. Which is fun, but it just hurts. See, I find I go to pretty dark places in the middle. Yeah. Why am I doing this? Why do I think this is fun? What's the meaning of life? All kinds of things like that. What am I gonna make for dinner? That's a big one. So then I gotta make deals with myself <clears throat> about getting through two more rounds, doing this, doing that. You'll feel better afterwards. And then it's the afterwards, the end, I'm super happy that I was able to do it. So. Three, two, one, single arm swings. Again, this is round three here of six. So that ability is down to 10, 15 seconds. That's not a loss. Take it as a win whenever you catch your breath and get moving again. Uh, but I do find that the middle of the workout, I see what you're saying with that, because like who doesn't have all those conversations with themselves while they're working out, but I kind of think it's a fun game for me to try and like not get in the dark place. Oh yeah. Like I'm like, what do I have to do to just stir up, save that off for another round? Like do I need to be there? And that's why I think the middle is like, there's the most to do in the middle, I think. Six, five, okay, it's definitely not the four, beginning. three, two, Left arm, clean and press. And then it's also just like when the end comes, you might as well just go to the dark place anyway, because you're about to finish. Are you one of those perfect people that can like push at the end? Like, say you're rowing. We're doing like a 2,000 meter row. Yeah. And there's definitely a thought where you should go at like 85%, save some, so you can sprint it out at the end. And that has never worked for me. Really? I don't know. Yeah. 10 seconds. I mean, it does depend on the workout. Like a 2,000 meter row is a six to nine minute workout. At that point, I would, I would yes, try to give myself room for the end. And I'm usually switch arms. I'm usually not bad at it, I would think. I always usually definitely. Where I think where my problem lies in workout, we're using 2,000 meter row, right? Yeah. And I think, I see that there's 300 meters left. And I'm like, okay, it's time to sprint. And I do, I do turn it on. There's like some afterburners in there. But if they don't last quite the whole 300 the meters, <laughs> then we have a problem. And it's like, where's that point where I will finish right as they run out? Yeah. Because the worst thing, and it's happened, when you finish like 200 meters before you have anything else left, and then, Five you're, seconds. Just, then you're just crash and burn. Three, two, one, single arm swings. Yeah, and that's what. So there's training age. And training age is referring to just how long you've been training, whatever it is. Maybe it's just general fitness. Maybe it's sports specific. Maybe it's chess. <laughs> yeah, it's just buys and tries. But I said, that's one of the nice I things. Said, I said chess, not chess. Oh, but the yes. game? Yeah, yeah. You know okay. what I mean? Just like you're better in chess when you're older. I've been doing it for longer. Not older. Older doesn't necessarily mean training age. Four, three. 
Two. Left arm. Left arm means we did four rounds already. That's awesome. Hell yeah. We have two to go. You can hang on. We can get there. So when you get more advanced in your training age, you get to kind of experience or understand what Coach Cole is talking about. Being able to learn yourself, let's say, again, we're talking about 2,000 meter row, knowing what's too soon to dial it up. What's really nice about the row, for most of the things that we do, is there's metrics right in front of you at all times. Three, two, one, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's much easier to learn from the workout afterwards. To be like, oh, that's how fast I was growing, that's how many meters I had left that worked or that didn't work. Cool, and if it didn't work, it's very easy on rowing or biking yeah. to kind of see, okay, how do I make it work? It's a lot harder to try and make it work when you're doing dumbbell snatches and burpees, right? Like, how do you change the workout to redo it, which is what we're gonna do in a little bit, to make it better? I think it's more gratifying personally when I do, like when you get a good score in a workout, yeah, you feel proud of it. You're like, oh, I did pretty well. But I think it's really gratifying when I finish the workout. Three, two, one, single arm swings, and I think like, oh, I really just, I gained that well. Yeah, like I really was doing that as best I could. Like I didn't finish the ball, I could have gone faster, or should have gone slower. Which does not happen to me that often. No, it's a very, very, I very seldom hit it on the head. It's hard to be down and it feels so good when it happens. But more things that come, more as you advance in your training age. Ten seconds back to that left hand side. Where are we at, coach? This is our last round coming up. Coach round break right here. Heck yeah. Five, four, three, two. Left arm clean and press. Last time I see you on the left arm. Get some good old rest. After this, we have four, eight, 120 seconds to work. Me doing my time. That was great. Thank you. I tried. Four, <laughs> two minutes. Let's see. Twelve divided by yes. Two minutes. Got a, we got a program that happens to do that. Here's an idea for me. If you're on like a little outfit game show or while we're working out, you have to ask us like trivia questions. Wouldn't that be funny? That would be funny. Like you're trying to answer while you're working out. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Maybe that's our live stream. That's not a bad idea. Like what are the top six countries that have football teams that have green jerseys? Wait. And you're like, I don't know, salt bike. And you're like, I don't know. Soccer football? That's a terrible example because I don't know anything about football. We're talking about soccer football. Yes. How very international. We like if I was like deep into burpees and you were like, name five New York City drag queens, I'd be like, oh god. Could be fun. Eight seconds. A couple more queen to press. Four. Three. Two. Forty seconds. Single arm swings. Here we Get go. Get it rocking. There we go. <coughs> Just over 30 seconds to go. If you're with me, we're almost at 12 minutes continuous. It's great. You should be very proud of yourself. This is very challenging for most people. Yep. Just the mental aspect alone of not putting the weight down. 10 seconds, hang on. We got some more swing. Probably five, four, seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, two, one, Ooh, all right. and time. That was great. 12 minutes. That was great. I feel good. Nice Ooh. job, nice job there. We're gonna take about a minute or so. We're gonna catch our breaths, grab some water. We got the conditioning to talk about. While we're doing that though, if you're catching your breath, do us a favor, press pause on this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. It makes a huge difference for us. We're trying to get to a thousand. Um, and then go ahead and like the, the video and then you can start it back. So do that now. Welcome back, hey, they're back. What's up, Alfie? Hello, technology. All right, we've got about 45 seconds. I was watching the Olympics, a little bit strong right now. Um, and I'm assuming because you know there aren't spectators a lot of the Olympics. There was like thing on the NBC website and it's like watch live. And there's also like 
I don't remember what the button said. It said something like live participate or live, like, or like be a fan or something like that. And I was like, oh, what's this do? And it just turns me in, it like turned on my camera and like put me in like a virtual fan and like a seat. You know what I mean? Because it's like a virtual world. Mm. But I was just like not ready to be on camera, like broadcasting with all the other fans of the Olympics watching around the world. So you're not camera ready. If you don't, if you're not camera ready, don't click that button. Okay, if you're just like in bed after your shower. Probably not the best. That's what I can say. But it makes sense. Or, or not for free. <laughs> I was, uh, I, 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 I don't want to date this video, but I'm going to say it. Uh, I was reading that OnlyFans now is requiring three forms of ID for anyone participating in videos. Okay. Yeah. Understandably. Understandably. Super strict. I don't even know what three forms of ID is. Passport, driver's license, passport. driver's license, social. No. The, the, birth, the, the, the do they have to have a photo of form of ID? No, birth certificate is a form of ID. Is it? Yeah. But not that I know where mine is. <laughs> <laughs> not that I was just sending mine to OnlyFans last week. Ah, scrambling. Where is it? Where is it? Mom, where is it? Mom, what do you need your birth certificate for? Well, I'm just, I'm just, uh, uh, New York, you know. COVID restrictions. Fitness. Alright. You want to talk about this one? Uh, I don't know. You're on a roll. Alright. Yeah. We're going to repeat our two workouts. Again, if you need it, um, the link will be in the bio to workout one. If you commented on workout one, 12 workouts to go. 11 workouts to go. Technically 11 to go. Um, you'll see your score. Cool. And your goal today, your job here is just to do your best to beat it. I don't care if you beat it by 100 reps or if you beat it by one rep. A win is a win. Let's take it. Cool. We have two different workouts. We're going to do each for four minutes, then we're going to do each for three minutes. Okay? They are ascending ladders. Two, four, six, eight is the rep scheme for our first workout. We're going to do two reverse lunges. Todd's going to demo for me here. Yes, I am. Yes, he is. Take a nice big step back. One, two. He's doing a great job keeping his front foot nice and far in front and making sure that that front shin is right over your ankle. Cool. He's only going to do two of those. Then he's going to pick up that kettlebell for two goblet squats. One, two. Then he's going to put that kettlebell down for two burpees over the bell. Hit the floor, hop on over, hit the floor, hop on over. Then he's going to do four reverse lunges, four goblet squats, four burpees over the bell. Climbing up by two. We'll rest a minute. So our second workout is on the ground, and it's abs. If you've been doing our 40 minute workouts and our abs, 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 this is definitely a workout you'll feel better at if, if, if you do this 12 workouts ago. One Russian twist, one pipe reach, feet in the air, reach for the toes, one sit up. Two Russian twists, one, two, two pipe reach, almost, one, two, Two sit ups. Three Russian twists. I'm just going to talk here and do the whole thing. Right? <laughs> no, you got the idea. All right, counting up one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, et cetera. So you need a dumbbell. We're going to start with our lunges, goblet squats, and burpees. We're going to get it rocking because we got to get it done. So 30 seconds is on the clock. That's how long we have. What? That's so funny. I said I didn't want to date this video. How many people are actually going to ever know that OnlyFans, they read that OnlyFans requires three forms of IT? I'm talking about the Olympics. The Olympics are going on right now. Oh yeah, the Olympics. I gotta wake up at 3 a.m. on Monday to watch Maddie lift. Ooh. Yeah, I know. But I gotta do it. It's early. I'm committed. All right. Five. Fitness is coming. Four. I'm a true fan. Three, two, one. Two reverse lunges. I will not be turning on my camera at 2 a.m. I'm telling you that. Two goblet squats. Two burpees over the bell. You have four more minutes just under to keep going. Six, excuse me, four reverse lunges, four goblet squats, four burpees over the bell. Your job is to do at least one rep better than last time. So get that nice game face done, head down, eyes up, and let's get groovy. I have no idea what I did last time, because I spent last time talking. I think though. You still had a pretty good score. I had a pretty decent score. I believe you're right. Well, that's not here for my score. I'm here for your score. So get down on the floor and give me four burpees over the bell. Leave here with a win. We gotta earn it. Wins don't just come out of nowhere. When we're doing these reverse lunges, 
want you to remember that you're trying to keep a vertical shin in that forward leg. So vertical shin, knees over the ankle, drive through that heel to stand up, big step back, vertical shin. All right. On the round of six, about a minute and a half in. Cool. If you are fresh, if you are new, if you have not been with us for the first workout, don't fret, don't worry, this is just some fitness. Fitness is still fitness. I think a great goal for this workout would be to find double digits by the time our three minute round is over here. Where am I at? Let's get that heart rate movement. We should be feeling these by the time we're done. Todd's feeling them over here. That's for sure. We're about halfway in. Two minutes in, two minutes to go. I'm hitting the eights here. Brooklyn's watching with support. Past halfway. Let's go. Just over 90 seconds to go. We got one minute of rest coming up. Try to keep pushing. Also remember, we're gonna be doing this for a second round. Those are three minute rounds. You're gonna be picking up where you left off, okay? So another reason for you to be keeping track of how far you got through here. Less than 90 seconds to go. Last minute, a great way to help yourself beat your score is to speed up those reverse lunges on your last set. Cool? If you are coming up on them soon again, probably your last set in this four minute window. You only have 55 seconds left, so a little bit quicker steps. Give you just a couple extra reps. Easy, just like that. Forty five seconds. Thirty seconds to go. Here we go. Get down. Get up. Get over. Back up. Get some more lunges. I want you to work through this beat. If you want to beat our score, we're gonna to have to work through it, not before it. Eighteen seconds. Next rep. Okay. Right, next rep. Keep it going. Ten seconds. Great. Do another one. Not yet. Five seconds. Four. Another one. Three, another one, two, one, and time. Good. Right. Don't forget where you were. Write it down if you have to. You have 55 seconds. We're going to come back to it. All right, 45 seconds to go. This condition is going to be flying. Now that you've got through, by the time you get through this, all of your workouts, what's next? Well, as a reminder, we have a lot of other workouts on the channel. We have about 20, 25, uh, 40 minute one way workouts, which honestly is this exact same workout. We just came up with a better name for the boot camp challenge. So those are available for you. We have uh, body weight workouts. We also have ab workouts. And if you live here in New York City, we have workouts every Saturday in Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens. With that being said, 10 seconds, we're gonna be doing the Russian twists, pike reach, and sit ups. One rep of each. Yep. Four, three, two, one. One rest and twist, touch both sides, please. One plank reach. I'm gonna smash my head to the wall. One, sit up, do two. And start doing three, we're up the ladder. Count five once. The rest and twist into the plank reach, the roll back was very nice. Yeah, it's, it's groovy. It was intelligently Programmed. Woo! One of us. I'll take credit. Sure. <laughs> Thanks, Coach Cole. You're welcome. Come on, Taurus. Here we go. Whew. All right. Cruising. 45 seconds in. We've got a lot of work in 45 seconds. If I remember correctly, this is the one that I sent last time. I think I went pretty hard in our last three minutes. 
Are you on four? Am I on four? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah. Go to fives. You are on fours, maybe fives. That's only one minute in. You have three more minutes. We're going to burn up the core. We're going to get it rocking today and get out of here. Whew. So for these uh, Russian twists, your goal is to keep those feet off the ground. Keep those heels up off the ground. Don't hook your feet. Don't hook your feet. Just keep them together. Ooh, starting to feel it. Good, 90 seconds in. Five. On a six. All right, for those pike reach, legs are as straight as possible. Picking the shoulders up off and reaching for those toes. Crunching through that middle. Reach, reach, reach. Woo! You are exactly halfway through this four minute block. Cool. We're gonna keep climbing up the ladder. Honestly, another two or three from where you are is a great goal. These rounds are gonna be a little bit longer. Every time you go up, there's gonna be more abs. Let's get it done. Scooting back a lot today. I'm gonna run into the wall. Break my knuckles. Ooh, all right, she got about 90 seconds to go. A minute of rest is gonna be coming up. So keep working up until that point, and then we're going to be going back to the beginning for three minute rounds. I'm six in this round though. Whew. Hang on for those bike reaches. Get those shoelaces. Nice gentle touch. All right, just over a minute to go. Up. Go. Try and keep that pace going. Feel free to use your arms. We'll use them. Throw those arms to those toes. Use a little bit of momentum. All right, this is a workout for a score. So efficient, fast movement is what I want. Sit up like there's no tomorrow. Woo. All right, last 30 seconds. Come on. I believe I'm on eight. Doesn't matter where you are, it matters that you give me 22 more seconds of abs here. 15 seconds. Hang on. Through the clock. Last 10 seconds. All right, you got a minute to rest. Fight the, Fight the bar. Let's go. A couple more reps. Five seconds. Three, two, one and rest. Again, don't forget where you are. I'm five or six be up to my round of eight, I think. Even while talking, I managed to count. We have 48 seconds. We're gonna go back to the top, hop back on our feet. Some amount of reverse lunges, some amount of goblet squats, some amount of burpees over the bell. Where are you starting, Tom? Oh, on me. Um I think I finished eights. Eights, so on 10, 10 reverse lunges? Yeah. All right, sounds good to me. We have three minutes. It's one minute better than four. This is your time to set a score. Sorry, that rhymed. <laughs> you used to rhyme a lot. Uh, well, I, I actively try not to rhyme. Yeah. I feel it coming and I just completely curve the sentence every time. 10 seconds. Pick it up where you left off. Probably could do a workout where I try to rhyme everything. It'd be so fun. Three, two, one, let's go. Put on a show. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Was that, that's not you holding back, huh? No, I'm gonna have to hold back. I can't let it all loose, I don't think we're ready for that. That level of skill. Start writing raps, bell fitness, <laughs> be so bad. Move on to the next movement. Most of us are definitely going to be somewhere near double digits by now. Let's get some icing on the cake. I'm on 14th, maybe 16th. Todd's going to get to the round of 70, 76. Huh. Squat. All right. 45 seconds in. Here we go.
Again, do your best not to lose time on those burpees. Maybe not quite sprint pace, but you can always at least hop on the floor. Don't waste some time standing up, especially when we have less than two minutes to put a score on the board. I'm doing 10. I think Todd's doing 10 too. When to hold back 85, there's a minute 15 on that clock. It's probably about time to let go of any kind of pace and just move. Move for a minute, see what you can do. Find that next two rep increase. Hang on. Here we go, get to those lunges. Last 60 seconds coming up. Last 60 seconds of this. We got 30 seconds of rest, then we're gonna do some abs. So let's go. Five seconds. Keep breathing. Cool, feel the sweat. Get that heart pumping. If you want to do better, do better while working hard. Makes you feel good afterwards. 30 seconds. To squat, to burpee, to lunge, wherever you are, keep going. Do another rep. There's always one more rep. You just think about the next rep. That's the only thing on your mind right now. Is just do it again. Whether it's a step, whether you're hitting the floor with Todd, just do it again. Mm, come on. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, don't stop. Move 6, 5, there's time. 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Good. Don't forget your score. We only have 25 seconds from here on out to get some abs in. It's our last three minutes. And with the bang. I think I also got to the 10s. Um, I was on eight for the abs. I'll start with ten. Ha uh, ha! Two, two rounds ahead of me. All right, four, three, two. Start where you left off. I have two plate reaches followed by eight sit-ups. That's where I'm at. Everyone's at a different point. Whew. All right. Hey, this is your last two, two and a half minutes of work. It's your last two and a half minutes for this workout. If you've been doing this whole boot camp, this boot camp challenge with us, then this is your last two and a half minutes of this series. So, you've been working hard, either the whole series, or up until this point in this video, so let's end it nice and strong, all right? Less than two and a half minutes to go. Hang on to those pike readers. I know they're gonna burn, get it in. Right, let's go. I got it. Two minutes. That's all. That is all. Two minutes of burn. Stay together. Move virtually. Or maybe with someone if you're not alone. Tell them to keep moving. Kick it into gear. Keep right. sitting up. There's always another sit up in there, right? You can always just take a breath, suck it up, throw it at the feet. I'm going for it over here. He's got 90 seconds to do so. Woo! All right, here we go. Oh, like our final push. Yes, it is. Hang on to the burn. Get those feet in the air. Throw those hands in the feet. Finish this round. If you're on tens or elevens or seventeens or sixes, finish this round at least. That can be done for everyone. Okay, you got less than a minute to go. All right. Actually, you got just about 45 seconds. Again, if you've been doing this whole series, even if you've just been doing this workout, less than a minute to go. Less than 45 Whoa. seconds. It's all hang on. Let's finish it. Nice Keep and strong. it burning. I'm certainly burning. But stay there. Don't leave me. Not here. 
30 seconds. Come on. If you get that 11 sit up done, get 12 brush and twist in there is time. Oh, it's hard to talk in this bird. 13 seconds. Feet in the air. Here we go. One, two, ten, nine, eight. Don't let go. Seven. Don't let go. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, I feel that in the core today. Hi, big girl. Hi. Nice job to the outfit. If that was your first time doing this workout, awesome, amazing. If that was your second time doing this workout, do yourself a favor, glance back uh, 11 workouts ago. Any reps better, it's a win. It's awesome, it means your fitness is paying off. If you're working out, let it, let it make you feel good. Feel proud. Feel proud of working out. You should. So as I was saying before, this is our last video of the Bootcamp Challenge workout series. All 12 videos. We're going to be working on a new series. Don't quite know what that is yet, but definitely you'll see it popping up on the channel. Um, some new format for workouts just to kind of mix it up and keep variety out. If you're in New York City, again, we have workouts every Saturday in Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens. Today, we're at Willie really B CrossFit here at Greenpoint. We're going to be getting out here and enjoy the rest of our Saturday. I'm Coach Todd. I'm Coach Call. And this is Brooklyn. We'll see you in another workout. <laughs> I'm Pearl. Okay. Hi. Sit. Sit. Good girl. <laughs>